Man, there is a huge difference between a woman that's divorced and had kids in marriage versus a woman who's never been married and is a single mother. Man, in today's video, I'm gonna tell you why I take the stance that a lot of these women are lost. Let's talk about it. another righteous spiritful episode today i'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business man before i go any further let me make sure that i roll this footage so you have receipts to be able to understand what i'm saying roll that footage when i see men trying to make it a point that single mother standards are way too high but wouldn't you think that a good mother or a good woman period would want the best for her children and want the best around her children so you best believe that my standards are going to be through the roof. At this point, my standards are so high, I think I'm looking for Jesus Christ himself. Because baby, I devote my life to being a mother and being a good woman so I can be a good mother. <laughs> so yes, if you want to mess with me on that type of level, you need to prove to me why you are worthy of my time and why you are worthy to be in my child's presence on a consistent basis. Because I'd rather be alone forever than have my time wasted. So let me just make this clear. Don't take me being a single mother with a grain of salt. Just know that I work my ass off and I'm tired, okay? But I work my ass off as I should. So if you come into my life, you should be making things easier, not harder. And that goes for any relationship. But I'm quick to leave all types of situations stupid when I see men trying to make it a point that single mother... All right, I'll rest my case. So I'm not saying all women are lost, but there is a... a, a a lot of women that are lost. And when we see this, you know, we can even tie that biblically, okay? This woman took it upon herself when she probably should have just remained silent because women don't, women like this don't understand. They run off men that might potentially deal with them because they talk too damn much. And the minute a woman opens her mouth and says something like this, this is when all bets is off. And I'll tell you, as a married man, this would be the last kind of woman I'd want for my son. Either of them. If I was single, I would have got the heck out of Dodge once I heard this woman say this. Now, the problem is not her being a single mother having standards, but let me show you to the ignorance that her standards are. This woman said, pretty much don't mind me if I have dating standards that only Jesus Christ could meet. Okay, all right, we look biblically. Jesus didn't have no damn wife, first and foremost. Now, if this woman is the ideal woman that the most high would have a man have, how is she gonna add value to you as a man when she wants you to waste your life instead of working out your salvation, prove to her that you're worth her time when she ain't worth shit, bottom line. Okay, let's, let's take another biblical angle. Now in order, for Messiah, who she referenced as Jesus Christ, to be the savior, he had to be free of sin. So I'm gonna take you back and we're gonna, we're gonna role play this thing. What if the Messiah, Yahushua Hamashiach, had to deal with Eve? See, there's people in the Bible that didn't have a woman because it would have worked counter against the Most High Yah's will for their life. You think about Paul. Paul had the mission to minister unto the heathens, until the Gentiles. A woman would have disrupted that the same way a woman disrupt 
Adam in the garden. Adam wouldn't have never thought about that damn fruit if it wasn't for Eve talking to Hasatan. And this is why I say, man, sometimes women don't know when to shut the heck up. Because you run men off with your mouth. And that's only a fraction of what you would have to deal with. She said, you got to prove that you're worth my kid's time. I tell you as a man, get the heck out of Dodge. Rather than saying, man, my man, my kids do need uh, a stable, see, women will put this standard, these higher than biblical standards, higher than God's standards on a man before they'll have these standards for the men that they lay down with. And I tell you, man, uh, I, I say this with the most kindness that I can, but you women that wear single motherhood like a badge of honor are spiritually retarded. Spiritually retarded. You know, you don't go, you don't have a damn 300 credit score and go in the bank and tell the, the loan officer what he's about to do for your ass. He's gonna be like, man, get your broke ass out of here. You just don't do that. But that is an entitled mindset. That's what you were looking at. You were looking at a woman uh, that refuses to take accountability and puts the accountability of her mistakes on the next man to come be the Mr. Fix It, Mr. Clean It Up. You see what I'm saying? And biblically, who did the most high y'all tell was supposed to be to help me? So why as a man would I waste my life with Messiah being my covering? Messiah is the head of man, man is the head of woman. Why would I go against that trying to prove some shit to this woman? And this is where I say a lot of these women are lost because Hey, there's always a plethora of women in the comments that's in support of what this, what these crazy women are saying. And guess what? Ain't none of them got no damn man. And if they do got a man, guess what? He ain't worth a damn because he don't stand on nothing. See, as a man, let me tell you something. Man, if you don't stand for anything, you're going to fall for Jezebels and harlots like this because She's talking to you because she feels like it sounds good. See, as a woman, you got to know when you start talking and it feels good, oftentimes what you're saying has no logic and sounds absolutely stupid. I'm not against a woman having a damn standard. Not against a woman having a uh, uh, any kind of standards. No, you know, I want women to have standards, but listen to what she said. It's gonna be the end times before a man comes and meets her standards if she's waiting on Jesus. We're, we're, we're post death, burial, and resurrection. He's gone, but he's coming back. And I tell you, as a woman, if you don't get your life today, I'm gather, a man is the last thing you're gonna be thinking about at Judgment Day. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking that thing, gun, barrel, strength. Bow.